Hello guys, I'm Weebel and welcome back to the Nibirigan Code Python series. Today, we'll discuss about file handling in Python. Before jumping into the file handling concepts, let's get to know why do we need file handling. Now, imagine working in an application where you think all the data you have, that you have created is being stored in the variables that you have declared. But when you close the application, all the data seems to be lost. That's because the data is stored only temporarily. So in that case, to make it last for a longer period of time, we reach out for permanent storage. We can store a data permanently by using files. Now let's go ahead and create an empty file. Let me create a text file and uh, let me save it with the name example. Now this file can be easily opened by the open function, open off. So this is the syntax of open function where let's replace this path of the file with the actual path, which is nothing but f colon run slash and the name of the file dot txt. Here mode refers to the purpose of opening the file. And guys, even if you do not create the file beforehand, the file will be automatically created once you run this open function. Basically, there are four types of modes. The first one is R. R stands for reading a file and it's the default mode. And the next one is A. A stands for appending a file. And then W stands for writing in a file. X stands for creating, which will create a new file. Now let's go ahead and use the W method to indicate that the file has been opened for writing. Change this mode to W. and assign this open command to variable f and then you can write anything in a file by simply using the write method f dot write of face prep and then close the file by using the close method as it is always important to close a file once you're done using it as it always helps to free up resources that were tied to that file. Now click on run. Now let's open the file. So here you can see that it has been written. Now let's change this face prep into some other string say abc python. and see what happens. Like you just saw on using the W method, we were able to overwrite the contents. But suppose if you don't want to overwrite, then you can add the contents at the end of the file by simply specifying the A mode, that is the append mode. Let's see how to do it. Change W to A, ABC Python is already there. Let's add a new line and let's write face prep. Click on run. Let's check it again. So it has been appended. Now that we have written something on the file, let's try to read it. So let's change A to R. And you can read a file by using the read method print of f dot read of. Click on run. So the contents have been read. You can also access the contents of a file word by word. That is by specifying the number of elements in a word. For example, 
the axis ABC, there are three letters in the word. So, give three, click on run. And similarly, you can access the first line by using the read line command. Click on run. So, we got the first line to access the second line. Repeat read line once again, click on run. So, it, it returned the second line too. Similarly, to access three lines, you can use this command thrice and so on. Now, if you want to access all the contents of a file, you can do it by using the read lines method. Click on run. As you can see, the contents have been displayed in the form of lists, which seems very inefficient. So now, let's access the contents by using a for loop. For x in f print x. Click on run. So that's how we can access elements from a file. And guys, you can also perform two operations at the same time, like read and write at the same time by simply adding a plus near R. And similarly, there is also W plus, which can be used for writing and reading at the same time. And A plus, which is used to open the file for appending and reading. And guys, there's a special type of statement called as the with statement, which is used to close the file without explicitly mentioning it. Now let me write the syntax of with statement with open file name comma more as file object. body of the with statement. And here the scope of the file object is only within the with statement and it cannot be accessed outside the with statement. Now let's replace this file name with the same file that we used in the previous example. And let this mode be R. Let's change this to F. And then let's write a for loop for X in F print X. And you don't have to close the file explicitly when you're using this with statement. Click on run. So the contents have been read. So that's how we can use this with statement. And till now, we were dealing with text files. In the same way, you can also deal with binary files. So what exactly is a binary file? A binary file stores data in the form of zeros and ones. And they are not human readable. Media files like images, videos, audios can be considered to be binary files. If the access modes R, W, and A are followed by the letter B, it means that the file is being opened in binary format. For example, now let's write a program to copy one binary file from one location to another. Now consider any image from your system. So here I'm taking this image from E drive and I want this image to be copied to F drive. Let's see how to do it by using binary file handling methods. First, let's open the binary file. E colon. The name of the file is paste prep hyphen logo. 
dot png open it in read more and since it is a binary file add b along this r now let's open the destination folder f colon let's give some name face prep dot png in in write binary mode so it will be w b and here since we are performing both the operations read and write let's add plus here as well as here now let's write a for loop for line in f and in here let's write the contents into the destination folder des dot write of line and finally close both the file objects f dot close as well as destination dot close click on run let's check whether it got copied so here you can see that the image has been copied correctly finally deleting a file is very simple so first you have to import the os module and then use the remove method and specify the path of the file f colon let's delete this example file click on run let's check if it got deleted so the file has been deleted so that's all about file handling in python we'll discuss about another interesting topic in the next tutorial until then stay tuned and see you all in the next hey youtube how are you doing stay tuned to facebook for more awesome videos don't forget to subscribe